These ten men are on a mission, and their name embodies their purpose. Brothers Inspiring Excellence. To get background information, we first met with the President and Vice President. We go out into the community and just want to be a positive image to the youth, especially young males, and let them know there's other options out and if any way we can be mentors to them. That's our plans. And we've done a number of community service projects with the Macon County Food Pantry. We do community food drives where we pick up food from the food bank in Auburn and we go out into the community and actually distribute it just to make connections and just be seen in the community doing something positive. So we're in our second year of existence now and um, originally it, it started from basically us uh, sitting around and having a conversation about adversities and obstacles we had to overcome and um, advice that we've got to not be on this path and so we wanted to be visible and have a positive influence to the youth who may be possibly experiencing something similar to what we experience coming up and also just you know let them see that it is possible you know to be a, a minority and be in the sciences or be a veterinary or a doctor or whatever it is that you want to do so um, that's how it started you know a group all ten of us you know we're having a conversation and we said, you know, while we're here, let's make an impact in the local community. Right. I'm Alex Edwards. I'm from Alexandria, Virginia, and I'm a third year vet student. Hello, my name is Shafa Mansko. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a third year vet student. Good evening. I'm Derek Jones, Jr., and I'm a third year vet student from Clinton, Maryland. Hi, I'm Antonio Jackson from Mansfield, Louisiana, and I'm a third year veterinary student. Hello, I'm Travis Miller from Opelousas, Louisiana, and I'm a third year vet student. Hi, my name is Troy Mulder. I'm from Jacksonville, North Carolina, and I'm a third year vet student. Hi, I'm Andres White from Orlando, Florida, and I'm a third year veterinary student. Hi, my name is Clinton Williams. I'm a third year vet student from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Brandon Deaver from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a third year vet student. Hi, my name is Demetrius Washington. I'm a third year vet student from Colleen, Texas. A couple things that I wanted us to talk about with the semester coming to the end. Having 10 African-American men in the same veterinary medicine program at the same time is highly unusual. Minorities in veterinary medicine is pretty much non-existent. Or even in medical school, period. So we just try to provide that different aspect of, you know, different option, different outlook, as opposed to being a basketball player, a football player, or something like that. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm here, and I feel very grateful to be here and have an opportunity to share what I know with someone else, uh, to be a light to someone else, to help someone else who uh, is struggling in a certain area because I've been through uh, some of the trials and struggles that um, others have gone through. And I feel that I have something to offer, something to uh, share with the world. And I feel it's my mission to um, help pull up and help up uplift young men uh, in, in this journey. So that revelation that struck them at the beginning of their Tuskegee University vet school experience, that epiphany about their collective strength, has been a blessing that rippled out into the community. We tutor at St. Joseph. Well, we, last year we tutored. We've also done a couple church services as well, too. And so we just gave our, our personal testimony and, and how we overcame things. and and reached out that way. I grew up in a single parent household, so my mom and five boys basically struggling. You know, my mom taking care of all the boys, um, government assistance. Um, I've been advised at other academic institutions about, you know, maybe you shouldn't be in the sciences or, you know, maybe you should go down a different path or, you know, manual labor or anything like that. So we just our, our main thing is, is to make sure that, that the children know that, you know, whatever it is, even if you don't want to be a, a veterinarian, or even if you don't want to be a doctor, but whatever it is, you know, you're going to see some obstacles, you're going to see some adversities, and, and just know that you are able to overcome it and be whatever it is you want to be. Growing up, when I decided I wanted to be a veterinarian, I really didn't have anyone to look to. And coming into Tuskegee, um, a big part of that was because I wanted to be around more people who were just like me and interested in the same field that I was interested in. And so 
looking around to our class and having 10 African-American males in one class is, is extremely rare. And so we wanted to be able to provide that resource and just get people more involved in the STEM field, whether that be um, human medicine, veterinary medicine, um, anything that can, that can better their opportunities at a better education. Coming to the end, um, two most important things we have. Um, there's a big project with the Macon County with um, Mr. Trammell that we want to do. Um, we want to do that as like a community service project and both um, inviting the first and second years that we want to bring up to participate in that and kind of have that as or sort of to see who's really interested in, in sustaining this thing and who's not. The background, it used to be a, um, a daycare center. So we have a playground in the back, but we're gonna turn it into a garden. And uh, the other part is uh, we have a little problem with our structure without having, um, we'll just say gutters on the roof. Uh, we have streaks going on, so looking to try to get that cleaned up. As much as you know, we try to do this and keep it 10 people that we had, you know, we have to, we have to make sure that this thing stays and grows and keeps going even after we leave. Right. But I mean, this thing has so much steam and you know like the kids at St. Joe's like just doing a, a good job and I don't want it to just leave when we graduate too so um, does anybody have any ideas of anybody we you know can talk to to say like we think that you should spearhead this today we have some first and second year uh, students who are gonna uh, participate and the hopes and they're going to take over the program next year as we transition out phase out going into our fourth year so kind of in the transition period today and handed it over to some underclassmen well um, I'm a first year vet student so ever since I came on campus I saw them and I've kind of always looked up to them they make good grades so they're like kind of like role models so kind of want to make sure I stay on the right path doctoral students and to take the time is amazing you know for students uh, it's, it's it's just going beyond just, they, they just literally every time go beyond uh, in service to help others <laughs> 